Welcome to the third edition of the Tour to Profit magazine. My name's Rich Allen. Thanks for joining us today. I'm really excited to bring you another edition of this magazine. This issue is going to focus on helping you think about your business as a product. Most of us get wrapped up thinking about the product that we actually sell, the service or the product that we deliver to our customer. But in reality, what's most important to us as business owners is our business itself. We've got to structure and organize our business so that it is a business that is self-contained. It's a product that can stand alone. Now, if any of you are fans of Michael Gerber, and if you've read E-Myth, you know exactly what I'm talking about. In fact, one of the things we've done is included in this issue an interview with Michael Gerber. And you're going to hear from him directly why it's so critical for you to position your business so that it can be a standalone product that you can either replicate or ultimately sell as a unit. That's our goal as a business owner is to build something that's sustainable, profitable, but ultimately we can transfer it to someone else. And so that's what this issue is all about. We're going to dive into some of the core fundamental things that you've got to have in place in order to make that happen for you. So we've got five particular topics we're going to talk about. One, we're going to share a conversation with you with Michael Gerber and kind of set your mind to the idea and learn from the master. He's the best at it. And, and if you haven't read the book, it's a must read. You've got to get it. It's, it's got several now, new editions now. Um, if you haven't read it, do it right away. Then we're going to turn our focus to your destination, to where you want to go with your business. And I'm going to share with you some fundamentals on how you can gain mastery on knowing where you want your business to go. So you can get that crystal clear in your mind and start building the business for that ultimate desired place. Once we talk about that, then we're going to move into talking about how do we delight our customer? How do we build systems and processes in our business so that our customer gets not only what they expect from us every time, but far more than that? that they get that wow experience when they do business with us. And it's not just that occasional, they happen to catch the right person on the right day kind of wow, but it's that every day it happens consistently over and over again so that they can confidently tell their friends and colleagues about the, how you do business and about why you're the best place to shop. So we're going to make sure that you understand the fundamentals of that. Then we're going to talk a little bit and share a little bit with you about some financial fundamentals. Every business must have a solid foundation. And at the foundation of every business are solid financials. You've got to understand them. You've got to know how they work. You've got to have them positioned so that you can make money no matter what. So that your cash flow is consistent. So that you, you're debt free when you get ultimately to the point where you want to sell your business so that your financials paint a very good picture of the type of business that you've built. So we're going to dive into that and, and give you some good ideas and examples on, on how you can strengthen the financials of your business. And then lastly, we're going to follow up with some real important right now today advice on the people side of your business, particularly on the, on the legal side of your HR business. What do you have to do? What do you have to worry about? What do you need to make sure you have absolutely buttoned up in play and in place so that you are solid when it comes to any government regulations or those things where other people are going to come in and find out whether you're doing things correctly by the law, appropriately within standards, or perhaps not, which might lead to some fines and penalties that you don't want to incur. So we're going to help you avoid some of the negatives on that. This is a power-packed issue, and I'm excited you're here. I'm excited you're going to get a chance to look at it, 
as I always say in these, you may, this may drive you to have some questions. This may pose for you some other questions that, that I haven't answered here. If that's the case, please don't hesitate. Pick up the phone, send me an email, drop me a line somehow, send your question in. I'll be glad to provide you any other data, information, or resources you need to help you along that journey to create a business for you that is itself a standalone product that you can be proud of and that will make you money not only today but in the future when you decide it's time for you to move on to go enjoy whatever that next phase of your life is. My name's Rich Allen. Don't hesitate to connect with me if you need to. Enjoy this issue. Reach out to me if you have any questions. I hope you enjoy the ride. As I always say, ride hard. Take good care. We'll see you later.